Okay, well, um, we get we're on a sixth day, and we got I guess nine more days left. Let's go back. To, let's go to these streets. Make sure the crackhead isn't around the corner. Let's play a uh, date. I hope my grandfather didn't bother you about anything. That little geezer. He's over there talking about tomatoes and fish. Don't worry. Okay, we'll be super nice this time. Don't worry. He didn't. I love your grandpa. I swiftly lie under my breath. Thank God. He's so obnoxious sometimes. Do you believe that every human being has a guardian angel? It's just stupid tales. I believe so. Well, she believes it, whatever. Me too. If you could spend one billion yens for a date, what would you do? I'd take you to Venice and throw red roses to your feet. Ugh, I'll be a total tool. While I'm at it, I probably might just lick your feet and toes. I'll build a nice palace for us up in the North Pole. I don't think she'll like that. She'll be freezing to death and she won't give me the thing. You know, that she won't give me the... She won't give me the goods. Alright, let's go to Venice. Sounds interesting. I've never been to opera. Well, you need to dress well and behave. It's a perfect place for someone so elegant as you are. Yeah. Let's go for uh, this one. She'll she'll love it. Oh. Maybe you will invite me then? Do you think it's true that men prefer blondes? I prefer dark-haired girls, personally. <laughs> Considering you are one. Yeah, it seems like blondes are more feminine. I'll, I'll do this one. Maybe she'll be like, <laughs> There's potential for a relationship. He loves, he loves dark-haired girls. <laughs> yeah, that really made her all tingly inside, right? Really? That's awesome. Here's a photo of Chibi Ray-chan. Like it? Who that? Who that? Is that someone from the show? Hmm. You look the same as now. Oh wait, she her name well, dummy me. Her name is Ray, so I guess this is baby form of her. Hmm. You look the same as now, only the broom is bigger than you. You look very sweet and joyful. Let's do that one. Thank you. How do you know that you're in love? Now look at your big anime eyes, girl. <laughs> I know I'm in love with you because I can't stop thinking about you. I've never been in love with anybody. Um... Jeez. I know I'm in Yeah, she'll like it. I hope you mean it. Or else, she probably has a knife behind her back. And she probably has like a mafia father who has a bunch of goons laying out in the streets. Behind that corner right over yonder on the left side of the map. Do you know that I can prepare homemade sake? I make the best homemade sake in the universe. You probably drink a lot of it. She, she won't like this option because she'll probably think she's a drunk person. She's probably gonna fall on the floor, fall down the stairs, break her eyes. What? I thought you would be excited to try mine. Wait, did I select the wrong thing? Can you tell me a joke, please? <laughs> I got a joke. I'm not really good at telling jokes. Want to hear a dirty joke? I'm not really... I'll do this one. Maybe she's perverted or something. I know her, they do a lot of weird things in Japan or whatever. I'll take the risk. A white horse fell into mud. You're always into dirty things, aren't you? Oh, gosh. Oh. Uh, she is... Mm. What is that? What's a white horse fell into mud? Whatever. I'm afraid you're jumping to conclusions, mister. What's your biggest secret? I have a really tiny pee-pee. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> Pee-pee's so microscopic. I don't think I have any. I'm a bigamist, I'm afraid. It's a bigamist. Uh, I'll put that one. You gotta be kidding me. I have to go home now. Thanks for asking me out. Alright, tits. Um, we're on day seven. That's, well, I don't think we got enough for a gift yet. I right, go back. No! Get out! No! Okay, let's go on, uh... Let's go back here. There's a wide variety of places. Maybe there's a different game here. Game. No, it's the same game. 
Same puzzle. All right, I'm gonna oh, speed through this. Oh, gosh. A C with a little super cute strawberry thing. Uh, I swear I was going turbo sonic speed on that. Oh well. That was not your best result, but I'm sure you'll do better next time. Jeez, Ray. I wish you a Ray Ayanami. That'd be cool. Hmm. I guess let's uh, la, la, la. go here. Let's go on another date, I guess. Hi there, I'm short of time today. That's cool. I'll have I'll have time to meet my friends. That's a that's a pity. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I wish you had a time. We can talk more, and I, and I can look at you and tell you weird stories about about my Yu-Gi-Oh collection. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll make it up to you next time. Do you sometimes take psycho tests? What the heck is that? Sure, especially those which examine the level of Moonia's session. Yeah, lately I took a personality disorder test. What did it show? Seems like I have a paranoid schizotypical lower borderline personality. I think it said I was quite dependent. Hmm. I think she'll think I'm crazy if I choose that one. Ugh. That's good. Miss Ray will rule you. What the heck is she a dominatrix? What would you expect from your future wife in the first place? To have good family traditions? To be a loving person? Hmm, I guess to be a loving person, right? The ability to love is a real gift, don't you think? <laughs> sure, you can present your love to me. Alright, let's, let's do this. <laughs> sure. People unable to love don't even know how much they lose. <laughs> I'm such a genius. I'm such a nice guy. She'll love me forever. Okay, let's do that. Yeah. Do you like spending time in cafes? Only in your company? I'm not sure. Only in your company? Because, you know, I wouldn't... Oh, jeez. I saw you in a cafe some time ago with your friends, so be honest. Are you a fan of Three Lights? I don't even know what that is. Is that some Japanese band? I've been too busy lately to listen to any of their songs. I totally love them. Yeah. You're probably even more passionate than I am. Do you believe Pegasus really exists? I don't think he's real. I'd like to catch him. His head will be more than... <laughs> <laughs> well, Pegasus would definitely be more than Bin Laden's. <laughs> um, let's do that one, I guess. You might see him in your dream. Hey, do you want to read my horoscope? Sure, Aries is considered very masculine. Okay, Aries is very extroverted. You're very extroverted. Being extrovert is good if you want to be an actress or a singer. <laughs> I like reading about ancient Rome. Lately, I've been reading a book about ancient astrologers and how their work influenced Caesar's decisions. I find all this antique cruelty disturbing. Like Caligula made them jump into the sea if they didn't have good news for him. Hmm. I'm not a big fan of just books. I find all this antique cruelty this do Caligula. You know... It's not really what I meant. Is there something you want to ask me? Can I borrow a pen? I need to write down the time of our next date. Well, that's really bold. <laughs> Is it lonely living with just your grandfather? I got another question. When you gonna let me hit that apple? I know you wear those apple bottom jeans, right? Is it lonely living with just your grandfather? Can I borrow a pen? Let's do that one. Not really. I love and respect him very much. 
even when he gets on my nerves. I'm glad to hear that. We can learn a lot from our elders. From our elders. Elders. How many kids would you like to have in the future? Oh god, so many. Oh, jeez. Forget birth control and condoms. I don't know yet. 10 or 11? Something like that. Hmm. Well, they haven't really figured out the whole thing for abortion. So, let's just put I don't know yet. Just to be safe. Because, I don't know. Player, which is me, tends to think 10 or 11 is a reasonable answer. Not anything like 2 or 3 kids or anything like that. I don't know yet. Me neither. I asked out of curiosity. I have to go home now. Thanks for asking me out. You're welcome. Okay, I got some money. I don't think this is enough to buy some jewelry, but... Uh, hey, I can buy a cute brooch. I'm gonna make her so happy. She's gonna love me forever and be my special girl. Okay. Hey, hey, girl. Let me take you on a lakeside pier and uh, hand you this cute brooch. I have a present for you. I wonder what you're going to give me. Here you go, a cute brooch. This is really wonderful. Thank you. You're very welcome. 